All right, let's get started with the review. Number one, <clears throat> excuse me, number one, it says, uh, what is the domain of the function f of x is equal to that equation? Well, we recall that domain is all real numbers unless it's a real world situation. Whenever it's just an equation, it's going to be a theoretical world. So number one would be all real numbers. Number two says, what is the range of that function? Remember, with range, you have to decide uh, with these uh, exponential growth, you have to decide if it's exponential growth or exponential, uh, sorry, if it's positive. So it could be exponential growth or exponential decay, or if it's negative with with exponential growth or exponential decay. So in other words, does it go down forever or does it go up forever? And remember, we find that with A. If A is positive, then it's going to go up forever. If A is negative, it's going to go down forever. So when we look at number two, we're looking at the equation four to the power of X minus five. All right, so for starters, we know that that is going to be a positive one up front. So we know it's going to go up forever. Now our question is, where is the asymptote? And if you remember, our asymptote is C. It's the number that's all by itself off to the left. So we know it's gonna be go up forever. We know the lowest it can go is when um, Y is negative five. So we're gonna say Y is greater than, because it's everything above, negative five. And remember, we don't say greater than or equal to negative five because it can't touch the asymptote. All right. Number three. Number three says a culture of bacteria quadruples every hour. So that in, that tells us that we know that, a cult, uh, that it's growing. And how much is it growing? It's growing by four times. So quadruples, triples, doubles, those words tell us what our B is. We don't have to do one plus or one minus. We already know that when it says doubles or quadruples or whatever, that's the number. Quadruples means times four. So we know four goes inside the parentheses as B. And it says write a function that can be used to find the number of bacteria in. So in equals uh, at the end of T hours. So to the power of T. And then we know that our initial was 15 bacteria. Remember, A is the initial, B is how much it's growing or decreasing, uh, yeah, growing or decaying by, and then T or X up here is gonna be for how long? So our equation will be N equals 15 times four to the power of T. Number four says, the function f of x is equal to 120 times 0.92 to the power of x represents the milligrams of caffeine in the body after x hours of drinking the energy drink. For A is asking for the initial amount of coffee, uh, caffeine. We know that that's the number up front. So A is 120, 120 milligrams. B is asking for the percentage of change and is it increasing or decreasing? We know it's decreasing because we know that the value inside of the B, so it says 120 times 0.92 to the power of X, we know that that is less than one, so we know it's decreasing. Uh, how much is it decreasing by? Well, remember it's one minus R is gonna be equal to 0.92, subtract one on both sides, and we get negative R equals point, sorry, negative 0 0.08, multiply the whole thing by negative one, and we get R is equal to 0 0.08, change that to a percent and it is decreasing by eight um, percent num uh, number four c says the maximum amount of caffeine what is the most amount of caffeine that's going to be in her body uh, or in this person's body we know that the maximum amount is the initial amount because it's decaying after that so the maximum amount that this person ingested was 120 milligrams it's not growing in her body it's decaying in, in their body d says uh, the equation for the asymptote. Remember the asymptote is a horizontal line, so it's gonna be y equals a number. Whatever that number is, is gonna be added to the back of the equation. If we look at the equation and we see that nothing is added to the back of it, so y is equal to zero. Number five, number five says the function f of x is equal to 75 times 1.025 to the power of x represents the balance of Jonathan's savings account X years after opening it. What percentage is the balance increasing each year? So we know that 
1.025 is has the rate inside of it. We know that it's growing because it's in a bank account. So we know that that is one plus R equals 1.025. Subtract one on both sides and I get R is equal to 0 0.025. Turn that into a percent and I get 2.5%. Uh, Number six says, Bose cordless headphones purchased for $375, decrease in value by 15% each year. Write an exponential function to represent the given data. So the function is going to be f of x is equal to our initial investment of $375 times 1 minus the rate. The rate is 15%, so 0.15 to the power of x for each year. Now I need to simplify this to say f of x is equal to 375 times 0.85 to the power of x. All right, and that would be our function. That is A, and B says, what is the range of this function? Remember the range is, if it's a positive A up front, we know that it's going up forever. So we know Y is greater than, and Y is greater than our asymptote. Our asymptote is whatever's added to the back of this equation, which is zero plus zero, because there's nothing behind it. So Y is greater than zero. C says, what is the equation of the horizontal asymptote from above? We know that it's y equals because it's a horizontal line. And then we know that it is the asymptote of zero. So y equals zero is that asymptote. Number seven says uh, in the equation, f of x is equal to a b to the power of x. What value of b represents a decay? of 21.5% a decay. So I know it's one minus R is equal to 21.5% or yeah. So I know that the rate, one minus R is equal to B. I know that the rate is equal to 21.5%. I need to move my decimal place two times to the left. So I know that's gonna be one minus 0.215 is equal to B. And I know that that number will be, what is that? five, eight, and eight. So 0.885 is equal to B. Number eight says, Krypton 85 is an isotope that decays at a rate of 6.3% per day. If a sample originally contained a mass of 75 milligrams, write an exponential function that models A, the amount of, day, uh, the amount of T days. So I need a function of a, so it needs to say a equals uh, Krypton 85 is not to the decay, so I know it's one minus inside, and it's point six point three percent will be point zero six three, so one minus point zero six three, and it's t days, and then it says the sample contains seventy five milligrams. So that's going to be my equation, but I need to simplify this what's inside. So one minus one minus that is going to be what? 0. 0.937. All right. So A equals 75 times 0. 0.937 to the power of T. That is going to be our equation for eight. Number nine says, the function f of x is equal to uh, 1,275 times 1 1.04 to the power of t represents the amount of money in Elise's, I guess, is, bank account after two years. Which of the following is not true? Um, let's go ahead and write the equation down so we can all talk about it here. f of x is equal to 1,275 times 1 1.04 to the power of t. Okay, A says, ah. A says the initial amount in the bank account is $1,275. Yes, that is true, but we're looking for which is not true. B says the account is decreasing by 40% each year. That is not true. This is bigger than one, so we know it's not decreasing, so it's probably B. It is increasing. Uh, C, after seven years, the bank account will have 
after seven years. So if I get on my calculator here, if I get on my calculator here and write that, let's turn on the light so you can see it a little better. Um, get on my calculator and I'm gonna type in 1,275 times 1 1.04 to the power of, it said seven years. Is that going to give me, well, yes, it does. It gives me $1,677.81. And then D, so that is correct. So that can't be true or that isn't, that isn't correct because it's not, it isn't not true, I guess. I don't know. It is true. Uh, D, the account is increasing by 4% each year. Yes, it is. We know that 0 0.04 will translate. Ugh, I'm off the screen here. Sorry. 0 0.04 when put in percent will be 4%. So D is also true. So B must be the right answer. Let's push this down. B must be the right answer. So B. Number 10. Number 10 says draw the asymptote for each exponential function and then give the equation. So um, the equation, the first one has a line that stops at the x axis and we know that y is equal to zero all along that line. So that is the equation for the first one. And the next one stops when, let's see here, it goes like, like that but it stops when y is negative four. So we're gonna say y equals negative four for that one. All right, number 11, use the table below for parts A and B. Uh, it says write an exponential function to represent the table. So bust out stat and we go to edit. We're gonna input all those values as zero, one, two, and three. Then we're gonna input the values as 32, 56, 98, and 171.5. All right, we're going to hit stat, oops, stat again over to calc. We're going to choose, which one would make sense here? Exponential regression, because we're doing exponential form. So enter and that will be our equation. It will say, let's see, number 11. Number 11a will say 32 times 1.75 to the power of x. All right, and then B says, what would be the exponential function if the start value was decreased by seven units and the B value remains the same? So we need to decrease this by seven units. So 32 minus seven is gonna give us 25 times 1.75 to the power of X. There we go. Number 12 says, write an exponential function f of x to represent the table below. We're gonna plug that right back in to stat, edit, we're going to three again. So 50, 100, 200, and 400. I already know just by looking at the numbers, I know 50 is gonna be our starting amount and I know it's doubling, so two will be our B. So we'll probably say 50 times two to the power of X. Let's see, stat, calc, go down to exponential regression. And there it is, 50 times two to the power of X. So 12 will be, oops, all of these should have F of X equals. So equals F of X equals F of X. So 12 should actually start with F of X equals 50 times two to the power of X. Number 13, I'm almost out of time. I'll start a new video.